On December 21st, a ceremony was held in order to mark phase one of the Belo Monte 800 kilovolt power transmission project, which is jointly owned by State Grid and Eletrobras in Brazil's Ibirassi city. With a capacity of 1.123 million kilowatts, the Belo Monte hydroelectric power station is the second most powerful in Brazil. Started in February of 2014 in Brazil's northern rainforest, the transmission line crosses four states and 66 cities, finally being put into operation on December 12th of this year. It is now the longest transmission line in South America, with a length of 2,076 kilometers. The whole project was divided into eight parts, three of which were constructed by a Chinese corporation. The Brazilian Minister of Mining and Energy, Fernando Coelho, stated at the ceremony that this project goes a long way to solve power shortages in the southeastern part of Brazil, and it has also upgraded the technique of high-voltage power transmission in the country. Su Yinbiao, chairman of State Grid, said that in completing the Belo Monte project, China has managed to export its technique of ultra-high power transmission overseas. The success of this project proves that Chinese plan will be able to help Brazil overcome imbalance in its energy development. Chinese ambassador to Brazil, Li Xinjiang, said that the corporation in building infrastructure, including the area of power, plays an important role in China's Belt and Road Initiative. The Belo Monte project will promote cooperation and help to strengthen the relationship between China and Brazil. Yoshi